by holiday. We want to get right over to 19's Noelle Williams, who's there on the scene with more that we keep learning. Noelle. Yeah, good morning, Jamie. We know that that officer was shot here at East 80th Street. We don't know that person's condition or that officer's condition, but here's a look at the scene. It's still pretty active. It's been this way since around 1.30 this morning when officers were called here to the scene. Now, here's what else we do know. According to Cleveland EMS, one person was taken to a local hospital with non-critical injuries. However, they did confirm it was not the officer that was taken to the local hospital. Again, we still don't know the condition of that officer officer that was shot. However, we do expect to learn some more details later this morning in a press conference with Cleveland Police and Cleveland Police Chief. Here's a look at some video that 19 News shot as we were here on the scene. Again, a heavy police presence throughout the morning, even items scattered throughout the ground. And to give you guys an idea of where we're at, not far as a school is Wade Park School, just one block over. And this morning, several blocks surrounding the scene have been blocked off. Again, here's another close look at the active scene. Even now, hours after that shooting, police officers still canvassing the area here at East 80th Street. Again, an officer was shot here at this scene. We don't know his condition. Even EMS confirmed that one person was taken to a local hospital with non-critical injuries. However, it was not the officer that was taken to the hospital. 19 News will have live updates on the press conference as we expect to learn more, including the condition of that officer. We'll make sure to give you guys that details on air and on all streaming platforms. Reporting live in Cleveland's East Side, Noel Williams, 19 News. Well, next week, it marks the 17th anniversary of a missing Cleveland teenager. This is what police believe Ashley Summers could look like today. She was last seen on July 8th of 2007. At the time of Ashley's disappearance, she was 5'5", with a tattoo on her upper right arm. The FBI said no tip is too small. If you have any information on Summers,